Hey everybody, Ray Pastor, and today I'm gonna to show you how to save in Illustrator. I'm gonna show you multiple ways to save different file types and why you save each one. So let's assume that we have a beautiful logo up on the screen here. We'll just draw a little circle and that's our beautiful, let's just imagine it's a beautiful piece of artwork, right? It's just a, a grand piece of work that is gonna sell as an NFT for all this money. All right, so we have our logo created. So how do we save it and what are we supposed to do? All right, so in order to save our logo or our image, so first of all, we're gonna go to File, Save As, and I need to save the Illustrator file so that I have a copy that I can go in and edit this if I need to. That is an AI version, so AI is Illustrator. So I'm gonna save the developer version of this, but if I'm sending this to someone or I'm you know, want to put this on the web, I can't open up the AI file. I need to save it somewhere else. I need to save it somehow else. All right, so if I were to save it for print, print, I would most likely save it as a PDF or an EPS file. I would have to talk to the person I was sending it to and find out what they want. I don't typically use EPS files anymore, but some print shops that I work with still ask for them. Um, generally, I would click PDF and save my image as a PDF if I were to want to send this for print to someone or for someone to just view it. I'd probably send it to them as a PDF file. Now, if I want the image to be on the web or a mobile device, I'm probably gonna wanna save it as a JPEG or a PNG. Um, I generally use JPEGs, but I will use a PNG if there's gonna be a clear background. Like I don't want it to be a color, I just want my image with a clear background. I'll probably use PNG. Otherwise, I generally use JPEGs to save my image. So to do that, remember before I went to File Save As to save it as a PDF or the AI file, Instead, here what I'm gonna do is go to export, export as, and this is where I'll select what I wanna export. You can see there's a lot more images here. I can select PNG, I can select JPEG, and I can save it how I would like to. I would click export and boom, save it. I'll do that, I'll click export just so you can see the option screen come up. Once I click export, you can see they ask me how do I wanna save it. So if this is a PNG or a JPEG, I probably want this to be RP, RGB because I'm going to be putting this on a desktop or a phone. If I were sending this to print, I would want it to be CMYK, but I'm gonna select RGB. Quality, I always choose 10 unless I'm really concerned about file size because it does create a larger file size, but I care about quality more. As far as resolution, I generally choose the highest resolution possible, um, which is 300. I'm so used to doing that for print um, that I'm always choosing the higher resolution. Typically for a monitor, you really don't need more than 150. It's just kind of something that's been ingrained into me forever to always just choose 300. I would click OK and save my image and voila, we have a logo or our design in a JPEG or PNG format so that I can put it on a mobile device, save it as a logo, put it on a website or wherever I, whatever I need to do with it, put it on social media. All right, that's it. That's saving images in Illustrator. Later, everybody.